Twilight Grey's Anatomy ish. I think the best movie that represents California is There Will Be Blood. There's a lot of oil industry and there's a lot of money here. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama, maybe, is everything that we think Virginia should be. What is actually a good representation? I don't think I've seen that movie yet. Best representation of Arizona on TV and film. Jerry Maguire, Cuba Gooding Jr., Tom Cruise. I feel like we made it and won the Super Bowl. I mean, I'm just thinking of Napoleon Dynamite because there are a lot of weird people in Idaho. I don't know if there has been one that's a great representation of Arkansas, nor have I seen many shows that represent Arkansas. I mean, my personal favorite is Streetcar Named Desire, but I think Steel Magnolias is probably what most people would say. Oh, Elizabeth Town. It's great. Little House in the Prairie. Uh, South Park is a real place. I wouldn't say it's well represented, but it's there. The best representation of Massachusetts, I would say, would be the town. It really does show the community. Hands down, The Wire, it embodies Baltimore, Maryland, it embodies the people. I think Gilmore Girls is definitely the best representation of our state. I've been to the set and it almost felt like I was in Connecticut. Wayne's World, where they were like, I'm in Delaware, and I'm in Delaware. <laughs> Richard Jewell took place in Georgia. That's pretty like flagship, like Georgia standard movie that comes to mind. One that I think got close was the movie The Descendants that George Clooney was in with Shailene Woodley that kind of showed a more stripped back view of locals and local life. So I think the best representation that I've seen in a TV show or a film is in Master of None when Aziz Ansari takes his girl on a Nashville date and they just have the best time eating barbecue, meeting all the locals. The Blues Brothers. People think about melting pot, you know, New York as being one, but they forget that Chicago is a melting pot as well. Probably Seinfeld. I'm gonna go with Seinfeld, final answer. Fargo. Pretty accurate to like South Dakotans and maybe North Dakotans as well. Called Wild. Empire Falls. And that 70s show, because I haven't got quick to the time. That 70s show definitely comes to mind. Longmire. Bull Durham. Twister. Twister. Because during tornado season, people are scared for their lives. And if you live in the city areas, you get probably about 30 minutes notice and you're hoping to make your destination of safety before it comes and hits your house. So first thing that comes to mind, the best TV show is probably Westworld. You have the wild, wild west, but you also have a lot of fake. I think I'm supposed to say Field of Dreams, but I've never seen it. The Music Man, I guess, is the other movie set in Iowa. Oh, the best movie that represents Oregon would definitely be The Goonies. I'm trying to remember the name. Tom Cruise is in it. Jumanji. There was a bear on our street just not even two days ago. Probably the Jake Gyllenhaal movie from the 90s, October Sky. I don't know, anything that's filmed like in the low country, like Beaufort, I think uh, part of A Walk to Remember was filmed there. The Firm! Literally The Firm. I've never seen The Firm, but I think it's a great representation. The best representation of Utah in a movie is probably High School Musical. The first TV show that comes to mind is Ozark. Family Guy, for sure. The characters are really fun and energetic and there's um, some great comedy. There's lots of great diversity in the show as well. A river runs through it. The show Ballers on HBO, it's set in Miami. The best representation of New Jersey is by far The Sopranos. That's just life in New Jersey. There's not a lot, so it probably goes with what lies beneath. <laughs> That's one of like five movies set there, so. Drew Carey show. It's funny, it's informative, it's Midwest. The TV show or movie that's the best representation of Texas has to be Dallas. Come on, it's a classic. Okay, the most famous TV show is Breaking Bad. It shows a lot of the different places in New Mexico, which is actually pretty cool and kind of gives like the food culture. It's not in Pennsylvania, but probably the Dukes of Hazzard. Hoosiers, I guess. We live and breathe basketball in Indiana. I really don't think there are many uh, TV shows that are based around Nebraska, but there definitely should be. 